All right, welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl and now. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, have and have nots didn't give us a lot again tonight, so we're going to go right on into it. But for everyone that wished us a happy anniversary on Friday, thank you so, so appreciate much. Appreciate it, appreciate yes, it. Yes, we celebrated our 16th year anniversary. E. That's been a long freaking time. Long time. Long good time. Long time though. you've been hanging there with a pimp. Hey, and I ain't, I ain't planning on going nowhere. Yeah. What? You got a little gold flakes on it right there. Oh, yeah, I, I don't you. know what that is, though. I think I got it. All right, so we start off where we left off last Sugar week. Sugar Mama. Was that the title? That I was the name of the title was Sugar God Doing Mama. And we're going to roll through this because both of us are tired as heck. And, oh, y'all, some of y'all asked about if um the show Love Is. I'm going to watch it tomorrow, make my decision tomorrow. I have every intentions on reviewing it. But I'm afraid it's going to be too goddamn slow and I can't add another slow yeah. freaking review. I can't do it right now because this one yeah, is we'll driving me crazy. Yeah, we'll take a look at it though. Yeah. So, Benny ends up getting a gun from old boy that was holding him basically hostage while he was supposed to have the police on the phone. So, he gets the um, gun away from him. Basically, knocks old boy down on the ground. Told old boy, don't you move. I didn't do this. I promise you I didn't do this. Put the gun down. And, and went on the left. I said, so you threatening this guy is enough to keep his mouth shut after he's seen your freaking face yeah. and your fingerprints on his gun. Okay, Benny. All right. So Benny leaves and he goes back to his place. Well, evidently he had told Mitch to meet him at the at the um, at his apartment, mm -hmm. well his mama's apartment. Mitch is out there. He pissed because Mitch had some plans going on. I don't know where who. He said I was. He said I was drinking wine and, <laughs> and had somebody that was fine. Yeah. So what you want? He told Mitch, he said, listen, I didn't do it, but when I went over there to the bar to give your uncle the money back, he was already dead. Now, I don't know what Mitch thinks, because the first day Mitch was like, what did you do? What, what did, did you, you do? do? Yeah. What did you do? And he was like, I promise you, you know I wouldn't do nothing like that. Mitch went ahead and left, but we never came to the conclusion of whether he believed Benny or not. Or was it one of those ones where I just need to walk away and clear my head right now? Yeah, get go my check thoughts. on my uncle and then we talk about it later. And we'll talk about it later. So I was like, oh, <clears throat> okay, we don't know how that's going to go. Well, Hannah heard the commotion going on outside the window. And she heard no bits and pieces about money, this, that. So when Benny came in the house, she automatically was like, okay, what's going Tell on? Tell me what happened. Don't lie. Does it got something to do with your sister or not? When no... He went on and he came clean to her. First thing she said, you know what? You need a lawyer. He said, I sure do and I know one. Of course, he mm -hmm. wants to run back to DeMonica. Yep. She wants to run back to Catherine. Catherine. He's like, let me do things my way and i let you do things your way. So at this point, I want to go ahead and I'm going to go to DeMonica. Well, little did he know that DeMonica already got some company over there. Mm -hmm. Because y'all remember, Candace wanted to send somebody over there to keep Oh, yeah, DeMonica we were trying company. to figure out who that person was. Well, interesting enough, it's RK. Because RK is now sniffing up Candace, but rolled up on Candace, told Candace, hey, Rocky gave you up to Oscar. He knows about everything. He knows mm -hmm. about the passwords, all this. But what I'm going to need you to do, since I gave you this little bit of information, I need you to sleep with me to teach me, me how, to, how to be good in bed. Huh. She said, not a chance, but go ahead and let me see it. She said, boy, go somewhere and grow, up, grow up and come back to me when you grown. So I said, so you just going to do him like that, Candace? But she went ahead and sent him over there to DeMonica. He gets over there. He knocks on the door. She opens the door and he just walks in like he owns the place. So this is a nice place. So they get the chitter chatting. And of course, she's like, little boy, this. I got a son that's about your age. You can't do nothing with me. He talking about so you must gonna like this then. Yeah, I was like, what? What, what, that, what that supposed to mean? Well, she was about to put him out, and he being real cocky. I mean, he real confident with it. He unbuttons his shirt, so that turned her frown upside down. She said, "Oh, well, maybe I can. Yeah, maybe I can do something." So here so, we go. Here we go. They sitting around drinking, kicking, and cack hacking them, doing what they doing, and that's when the, the knock on the door come, and it's Benny. So now Benny, basically the cop block, she said RK upstairs and talking about some, you know, so now she's putting 20 on 10. Yeah. When she won't gonna give RK none before, now she acting like she wanna give him some because mm -hmm. Benny's there. So you're trying to make Benny get jealous. 
R. Kelly goes upstairs and literally robs her earring by earring. I feel like you. Bracelet by bracelet. Like you dummy. You the only one here. When you leave, she gonna know you took her stuff. Then he looked at the safe, couldn't get in the safe, and he was like, oh yeah, I'm about to rob this old lady. But like, R. Kelly, First of really? all, you need to put all this kit back. That quick? And you know she gonna come upstairs and try to sleep with you. She not gonna feel none of that in your pockets. Hmm. Okay, and if she don't feel it in the pocket, as soon as he leaves, she go look for it, she gonna put it one and two together. Say, I, I know I had two ear right. Yeah. M ear one, ear they, two. They were here before you got here, and when you left, them jokes <laughs> left. That's why you so, can't let people come to your house, man. No. It's scandalous, man. So, Benny came over there and basically ran down the situation. And she said, you know what, I'll take it on, but you gonna have to drop them drawers right now. Like Sally uh -huh. said last week, if you can't pay up, you yeah. got a buckle. You got a buckle. Mm-hmm. He said he not doing that. This ain't what he want. Da -da -da. It's how I'm serious. It's like, she's serious too, player. So, she kind she just let him kind of go and she kind of was like, did she actually say uh, she was going to do it? Yeah, she going to do it, but RK was his saving grace. Yeah, and yeah. then she talked about something. She going to do both of them. <laughs> you could say thank you yeah. and tell your trifling mama, I said, hey, hallelujah. <laughs> I said, see you stop. <laughs> that did make me laugh. I needed it because I was falling asleep. So now we got Oscar sitting downstairs at the hotel. Jim rolls up on him. Now Jim knows <laughs> that Candace took the money. Yeah. Because Oscar had no other choice but to go ahead and come clean with him. But he told him, you only got 24 hours to get my skit back or you did. I think Jim can't hear. He always said, What? Oscar, to to <laughs> Oscar told you that Candace stole the money. And he's talking about, so you trying to tell me that Candace stole my... Ain't that what he said? Did he start him? Did, did he say... So then we got, of course, you know what Jim does when Jim is in a crisis. He goes to Davis. And I said, well, when did he find out where David lived at? Well, he been over there before. Oh, that's why yeah, he did he go over there. there. He goes over there to Davis. Knocking on the door like you're crazy. David thought it was the Monica. He got home. The iron <laughs> poke and everything. David ready to go to war. He boy. said, I'm about sick and tired of this. I'm sick and tired. They got another nice car out there too. I didn't even notice. Yeah, you see it? I didn't I notice. don't know. I don't know when they went and picked it up, but in that Tyler's was quick. world. And that you was know, quick. they ordered off of Amazon. That's what they do it. Amazon Prime. Same day delivery, but that's what they Auto did. Auto Prime. Yeah. So he basically gave him the rundown. He said, listen. Oscar told me that Candace got my money. Now, Erica's listening to all of this. That even Jim got a good eye full of, of Erica. He was like, oh, so you got some whore in here, whatever. David said, uh-uh, that ain't no whore. You need to apologize. <laughs> so went down to run down. And David ended up giving Oscar a call because everything that Jim was telling him wasn't making any sense. Nah. And Jim is not convinced that Oscar isn't trying to double cross him. David was like, he would never do nothing like that because I, I could got, actually bury him. I got too much on him. You know, so I no. represent him on the stand when he, you know, with all that skit. So, no. He gets Oscar on the phone and come to find out they broke it all the way down to how it happened. There was an account open. Demonica was behind it. LLC this. This, that, and the third. David got Lloyd on the phone. Lloyd verified everything. Then they're going to jump told him, get your fat A up. I'm out to be it and check it right here. Right now. <laughs> Wipe the sweat off. Jim, that day on David was trying his best not to laugh. So Lloyd said, listen, what happened was this account was open. The money was transferred here. The money was transferred here. The, the member on the account is Candace Young. It was transferred to a, um, a personal account. And it ended up in Benny Young's hands. It's all I got to say. God don't. When the smoke settles, you better make sure Benny's $85. Is in that account. It's still left in that account. Because he need that money. <laughs> he need that to pay for Ronald. Get him off so that bread. Now David's like, what the hell? The what? How did so the, for Veronica? And it, Candace. It, that's oil and water. How'd that work? So the whole time, we got Erica. She on the phone with Candace. Giving her every bit of information that they're talking about down there. And I said, hold on, wait a minute. How is it that y'all can hear... How she could hear everything going on and then Stan reminded me. Ain't nothing in the, in house. the house. So the acoustics is right on time. So, so you can hear everything. Candace knows that they know about Oscar. They know about the money. They know that it's over there in Benny accounts. Now this is my thing right here. David and got Don Jim were supposed to be smart. 
information is out there that Candace and goddamn Veronica is working together. Mm -hmm. And y'all not concerned about that? That them two done turn some skit upside down? Man, and if y'all know people's life up now, they working together? Yeah. Huh? David look like he's thinking about it. But he ain't let me. Well, they need to be about it. They need, they need <laughs> to get in the car and go and see about it right now. Right now. Huh. So, next thing we know, we see Jim. He pops up over there at Catherine's house. And I said, okay, what's going on here? But not before the dad going, Hannah ended up over there. Hannah went over there to tell um, Catherine that. This would trip me out. This is supposed to be in the middle of the night. Why did Catherine have on a, um, a robe? And some church shoes. <laughs> Wind it back. I know y'all got on DVR. She had on some wedge church shoes. <laughs> now I know sometimes in the middle of the night stuff happened and you just grab the quickest pair of shoes you can find. You grab slippers. But you got slippers. And I know you got a pair to sit right on the edge of the bed because that's hey. what rich people do. Hey. I ain't rich and I do that sometimes. Well, I do too. Yeah. Well, Hannah told her everything. And even Catherine said, you know what? The best person for this would be Demonica, mm -hmm. but if you don't want to deal with her, I'll go ahead and get Marty involved. Yeah. And she went ahead and she spilled the beans. She said, it's somebody with a last name Malone, and Catherine kind of gave her that look like, oh, God. And Catherine put it together because she know that's, 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 that's freaking wide again. Messing up got no business life. So <laughs> it's, it's a tragedy, it man. It's a tragedy. So when Jim came over to the house, Jim was like, so what Hannah was doing here, she, Catherine was like, her son got locked up for a DUI, needed this, that, and the third way. So now I got her locked. So Jim was like, oh, so he's locked up because I really need to talk to him. So I'm like, okay, Catherine, how, how you going to spin this around real quick? I don't know. I guess we'll, well, all well, Ka well, well, Catherine want, got on why to pay the full freaking punishment of his crime. Now she she, tired, she, tired. No, she told Jim that before she found out about that. She said it's yeah. about time for why. To smell and experience his consequences. Like, Ma, you tell me he made his beard hard. Now it's it. time for him to lay in it, God darn it. You know, it sounds so good until you have to make somebody do it. Yeah. It sounds well, so, well, good. so good when mamas have to do it. But even they can't even do it. Shut yeah, up. that's what I'm saying. They can't do it. Mm -mm. They might, they might, they might make they you. They talk skit. They'll let you lay down for maybe a couple of seconds. Like, don't get up, boy. I got you. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Too much. Team too much. So we got, um, Charles Obama, he's still on his, <clears throat> I gotta be wherever Cat, um, Candace is. Now, after the inauguration, he wants to move to Savannah. Well, instead was, of going back to his hometown, because he said, I, it won't look so obvious. I, now you borderline being a stalker. Yeah, and I'm confused. I'm confused. You got the power to shut down everything she's trying to do. But you ain't got the power to get her to where you are. You still got to sneak. Mm. And you got to sit and land it on your behalf? And you been going yourself? What's going on? I, I don't even care no more. Obviously, it's something that he ain't telling us. I don't know. At this point, I don't even care. Yeah, me either. Just, just get But it. I'm just trying to bring some excitement for our people. Give them a little something to think about. We why? <laughs> why is he not going himself? Because she don't want to see him. They didn't even stop him before. True. So last scene was Jeffrey ended up over there at Wyatt's house because you know Wyatt wanted to see him because he wanted to tell him about everything that he did and the Malone guy that he killed. Well, instead of him being able to really do the full confession, Jeffrey already don't call the people on him. Say, so, yeah, you, you lied have, yeah. on him basically said he's a threat to himself. He said he was going to kill himself. He was going to do this and do that because you know if you say those words, they coming. They coming, yep. So... Um, why was like, no, 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 this ain't how I go. I don't want to go to rehab. I don't want to do none of this no more. Next thing we know, we thought it was the people at the door coming to get Wyatt yeah. is Justin Timberlake. The stalker. Then the people, you know, they did finally come and got Wyatt and pulled him out the house. That was hilarious all in itself. Someone said, that's all you got? That's all you got? That's all the strip you got? Justin is worse than the white lady that was on Obsessed. Yeah. He worse than she is. Beyonce put a whoop on her high though. That's what somebody did. Somebody didn't do that to Justin, man. Well, Justin basically told him, say, I, I followed you over to see if everything's all right, but I told you, home is wherever I am. And and Jeff was like, you know what? I, I don't have time, I time for this. Get out my face. Pull a gun out on both of them. 
And I said, I told you when somebody tell you some skit like that, believe yeah. them. Yeah. And it just went off like that. So at some point, the road, all roads going to lead to Ford Motor Company. I just say just go and but kill them all off. And start and scratch the show and call it something different. Yeah. Yeah. So we can continue the discussion down there in the comments section like we yeah. always do. Straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty south. Two up, two down. Holla. Holla.